Ireland is being warned by maritime experts that it is time to buff up its sea defences. It comes a week after a number of mystery explosions hit the Nord Stream pipelines in the Baltic Sea. Fingers were immediately pointed at Russia, but the Kremlin denied any involvement. So why does this type of hybrid warfare matter to Ireland? Well, three quarters of the cables and pipelines in the Northern Hemisphere go right by our waters. That includes a staggering 97% of all global communications. So bank transactions, business operations, and even internet access. Minister Simon Coveney has denied that Ireland is a weak link when it comes to this. So is he right? Daniel McConnell, McBarry and Alan Farrell are back with me. And I'm also joined by independent TD Cahill Berry. You're all very welcome uh, to the programme. Cahill, I'm going to start with you. Uh, what do we mean when we talk about hybrid warfare? What does so, that term mean? Yeah, so hybrid warfare is basically, it's a type of conflict which is below the, the, the recognised threshold of conflict. So it's not a kinetic operation where people are shooting at each other. It's a kind of a deception type operation where you don't really know who did the task and you try to attack people's centre of gravity rather than a frontal assault. So it doesn't really involve soldiers. It involves sneakiness and subterfuge. And that's pretty much what we saw in the Baltic Sea there last week. All right, and Daniel, your paper this today actually did a feature on these cables that a lot of people just won't even be aware exist. Mm. Where exactly are they and are they physically quite vulnerable? Um, so they're very close to Irish waters, kind of. So if you look at it towards the kind of the southwest of the country and they kind of head off towards uh, the United States, Simon Coveney says we're not a weak link. He's absolutely 100% wrong. We are so badly funded when it comes to our defences. <clears throat> and there's even this quirk in the legislation which it's actually not our naval service who are in charge to look after these infrastructure. It's on Garda Síochána, which seems utterly peculiar. And, what and just, it, just describe for people at home how important these cables are. Like, what well, does they, it mean if they are attacked? Well, I mean, the, the fundamental system upon which all our lives, connectivity, bang, as you said, pretty much the internet would stop working. These are the connections between the United States, Europe and Ireland and everything else, and they would simply stop working. And ultimately, we saw... like, And not just here in Ireland. No, but they, they're, they're linking... like every part of the world, essentially. So and this is international infrastructure massive. in our waters. Yeah. And we are the weak, and we are a weak link. Think back to when Russia was looking to do these exercises before the war in Ukraine even kicked off. We didn't even have a, a sufficient, we don't have a radar system to monitor. We rely on the generosity of our neighbours to patrol our waters and patrol our skies. This is not a viable or tenable situation. We have promised that, you know, this commission on the future of the Defence Forces has obviously, you know, you know, committed to building all these things and building up the infrastructure and also investing in, in the actual, the pay that, that our troops get. But we are so far behind, and Cahill will speak to this much more credibly than I will, we are not at the races. And to say we're not a weak link is an insult to the Irish people. Uh, Cahill, bring me through <clears throat> the threat level at the moment. Is there a threat to these... Um, cables potentially, or, or do we just not know? Yeah, well, look, basically, uh, absolutely. And I'd say that we're not a weak link. We're actually the weakest link. So of the EU27, Ireland is a complete outlier. And there is a threat, and it's not just the data cables. And I'd sum up the data cables and their importance by just saying that, that the cloud is not in the sky. The, the cloud is actually at the bottom of the sea. And, and it, as it stands, how are we in Ireland, because it's our responsibility to protect these, how are we protecting them? Uh, very, very poorly. So we have a very limited capability to monitor the surface of our home waters. So our naval service are down three ships already this year. They only have six ships left and are down 300 crews. So we have limited capability to monitor the surface of our home waters and we have absolutely none no capability to monitor what happens below the waves. So we, no we, capability no, whatsoever. Zero. So as a maritime nation, we are the only EU country without any sonar capability to detect what's happening below the sea, and, or below the waves, I should say. And the, the deterrent factor <clears throat> just isn't there. So and the, anybody can do whatever they want with our capability. And does it, does it make us look kind of differently at that, you know, um, exercise, the Russian exercises that were meant to happen off the Irish coast that were thwarted by Irish fishermen? Do we look at those kind of differently now? Well, I hope we looked at things differently at the time when it happened back in January. And Daniel's 100% right. The area where it happened, the exercise, was the Porcupine Bight. And there's a, a very high density and concentration of data cables just there. But it's not just the data cables. There's three gas pipes pipelines coming into Ireland and electricity interconnector. So our energy security is absolutely in, intrinsically linked to these cables as well. And what was even worse, um, and he's just, sorry, very so quick, I, just very quickly, the budget announced a 67 million increase in defence spending, not one cent for, sub, for subaqua uh, monitoring. Alan Farrell, okay. it actually sounds a little bit embarrassing. <clears throat> Can I start it? with some corrections? 
Um, the first one is that we do patrol our own waters and we do patrol our own skies and we're not reliant upon our neighbours. For interdiction of high-flying aircraft, we are. But that is not what you said. What you said that we, were, we are uh, reliant upon the generosity of our neighbours, I think is what you said. So who spotted That's the, Russians, the first Alan? correction. Who spotted the Russians, Alan? That's the first correction. Um, the other point in relation to... Kenny so hasn't answered the question. Who because it's not relevant. It is relevant. No, it's not. It's not relevant. The RAF so, were the ones who spotted so, the Russians off our... So the, not, the, not the other major development in recent speak, years, speak which, I truth, think, like. which I think... Well, Come on, Alan. Speak which I truth. think is very important is actually that, to recognise what is in the Commission for the Defence Forces and the decision that was made okay. in the, prior just, to the budget yeah. and during the budget. And the other correction is actually in relation to the total ex increased expenditure, which I think Danny said was about 60. Was 67 it? million was the increase so, in the, in the defence budget last week. So it's actually uh, quite a bit more. Um, so the capital budget alone is now... Um, we, the total okay. budget is up to 1.17 uh, uh, billion. Uh, okay, but it sorry, Alan, I, I think a lot of these... It represents an increase of €146 okay. million euro on the capital side alone. But, so, OK, a lot of these figures are you know, lost and people are... No, know, what people want to hear about is whether... Or, or one billion doesn't hear, really make any difference to most people at home. People want to hear about whether is, we have capabilities stands, to defend our waters. As it stands totally today, understandable. are those cables protected sufficiently? So it really depends on what, what, you're, uh, what, you're, what you mean by sufficiently. Are we capable of patrolling our waters? We, we, first of all, no, that's, foremost, that's we not, have... No, that's not the question We have I a, a body of water eight times the size of our country yeah. to pro patrol. It's but huge. are these particular cables, these incredibly important pieces of infrastructure, are they adequately protected as it stands, do you say? Clearly not, because under the nose of four NATO countries, Nord Stream was uh, broken in four different places. So clearly, the sort of uh, we, hybrid, sorry, Cal, the sort of hybrid wife warfare that Cahill talked about mm -hmm. is being done under the noses of a founding member of NATO, Norway, and under three others on their doorstep. So you have to ask the question: if that's so that the sort of if that's the sort of warfare that is going to be perpetrated by a country, we're going to assume yeah. it's Russia. So are you sorry, well, then you we saying, have to Alan, be very, very we, careful and we have we to make sure that we invest that? appropriate. Well, I think it's very difficult, but a presence on our seas on a constant basis is, of course, going to be extremely important. Uh, we have a number of new vessels coming, as Cahill will know. There's two new vessels that are coming known next as year. There's two new uh, aircraft, two new CASA aircraft being delivered next year as well. Uh, okay. which, will, which will have a further extension. Now, those aircraft are fitted <coughs> with state-of-the-art technology, okay. as, as are our, our other ships, which do have sonar capabilities, but admittedly only in their near vicinity. Ireland is the only country, for instance, without a national security strategy. So out of the EU27, we're the only country. And incredibly, it's not the Defence Forces or the Naval Service that are tasked with securing these critical pieces of infrastructure offshore. Um, it's actually the Garda Síochána, who has absolutely no capability. We have great respect for the Garda Síochána, but they have no capability from an offshore point of view. So we, we need to amend the legislation as well. So, Alan, you're saying, you know, we've got two new naval vessels coming on, but it's not their responsibility to look after these cables. It's uh, on no. Garda Síochána. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a quirk of legislation from well before my time, I, my, from Cahill and I chatting during the yeah. break, I believe. But does it not point to the fact that the government... So we will have to reassess that. But actually, I think... It isn't the aware of the threat is, and isn't taking this seriously. The likelihood is that the legislation was passed at that time because it was a civil authority and we're a neutral nation. It may be something along those lines. I'd have to go up back and check but that. But would it need to be updated. But it will need to be changed, absolutely. Um, I know, for instance, on Friday there was an emergency meeting of energy ministers which, to which Minister Ryan went. My understanding is when Minister Ryan returned from that, he requested uh, assistance from the Department of Defence and the Defence Forces, and they're in discussions. All right, look, that's my understanding as of, as of today.